Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. Today, I got the 1983 All-Star Game Finale. This is going to be the regular All-Star Game from 1983, except I'm not going to go by the actual usage of the players necessarily. I'm not going to necessarily get all the players in. I'm not going to necessarily play anybody three innings. Um, it's just going to be whatever, you know, however I want to do it. But it is the 83 NL versus the 83 AL because, as you might recall, we had two previous series between a 1983 um, we had the 1983, uh, uh, one 1983 team versus a 1933 team, and then the other, the opposite league, 83 team versus the opposite league, uh, 33 team. In a preliminary playoff uh, scenario, and now that has resulted in this matchup where we're back at 1983 across the board, AL versus NL. Um, the uh, AL will obviously be the home team because the game was in Comiskey Park in 1983. And Again, I'm not following actual 1983 All-Star Game starting lineups. In fact, I have a few different players in the lineups from the other um, previous games just to get, you know, more players, a little bit more playing time. After all, they were all All-Stars. And so, uh, with that having been said, the NL will be the team that bats first. The uh, National League batting lineup as it will be for this game, will be Tim Raines in left field leading off. The number two batter will be Steve Sachs, and he'll play second base for the NL. The third batter will be Andre Dawson, and he'll be in center field. Batting cleanup will be Dale Murphy, and he'll be in right. Pedro Guerrero will be the fifth place hitter, and he'll be the DH. Batting sixth will be Michael Jack Schmidt at third base. Batting seventh will be George Hendrick, and he'll play first. Batting eighth will be the wizard, Ozzie Smith, at shortstop. And batting ninth and playing catcher, although this was near the end of his career and he wasn't very good defensively at catcher, is going to be Johnny Bench. And uh, pitching for the American League will be... The Rick Honeycutt, left-hander Rick Honeycutt, will be the American League starting pitcher. And so with all of that out of the way, all of those housekeeping items, we are now ready to go with Tim Raines stepping in. And he gets a 3-8, which is going to be a home run. Lead-off home run by Tim Raines. And so uh, that was uh, that was pretty quick. And already the American League finds themselves down very quickly. And that brings up Steve Sachs. Steve Sachs getting a four six, and that will be a fly ball to left. So he gets the old F7. There's one down. Andre the Hawk Dawson. And he gets a 312, which is going to be a hit by pitch. And uh, that is going to be the first base runner, although technically the first guy touched all the bases. Dale Murphy is up. Dale Murphy with a 5-12, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Honeycutt is a 1-E-8. That is a 6, so I'm going to guess that that's probably an out.
Nope, we got to go on his card. So we'll roll on his card. And that is an 8. He is an E6. And that is going to be a ground ball double play. And they are out of the inning. So he gets the 1, 4, 3 double play. And, but the National League did end up scoring a run. And they lead 1 0 going into the bottom of the first. Now, the. Uh, the pitcher for the National League, I want to point out, is going to be Atley Hammaker. And he actually was the starting pitcher in the 1983 All-Star Game for the National League. But I'm just doing that because I'm doing it. No particular reason, but he is going to be the starter. He did get his butt handed to him in real life, though, by the American League. Let's see if he can do better than that here. The lineup that will be facing him is going to be Ricky Henderson leading off and playing left field. Batting second will be Sweet Lou Whitaker, and he'll be playing second base. Batting third will be Fred Lynn, the center fielder. Batting fourth will be Eddie Murray, the first baseman. In the fifth spot, you're going to have Dave Winfield in right. Sixth, you're going to have the catcher, Ted Simmons. Ted Simmons catching today for the American League. Batting 7th will be the D.H. Yaz, Carly Ostremski. Batting 8th will be Cal Ripken Jr., and he'll be at shortstop. And the ninth place hitter will be Doug DeSensei, the third baseman. So with that having been said, let's see what Ricky Henderson can do. 6'10", he's a right-handed batter, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the National League is Schmidt. And Schmidt is a 3E32, and that is a 5. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to guess that that's probably an out. Uh, let's see. It is. It's a ground ball. So, and just barely, too. So he goes out uh, 5 to 3. There's one down. And Lou Whitaker. The second baseman steps in. He's got a 4-7. And that's going to be a strikeout. Amaker with the K. And Freddie Lynn with two down really quickly here. And he gets a 5-6. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Hammaker strikes out too, and he doesn't have nearly as bad a first inning as he did in real life in the real 1983 All-Star game. And Pedro Guerrero is the batter. He is the DH, I believe. Yes. And he gets a 4-4, and that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher for the American League is Simmons, and Simmons is a 4-E-10 that is a 17. I'm not even going to speculate anymore on whether it's an actual out without rolling out of the card. But it will be, and uh, it is. So it's a foul out to the catcher. And Mike Schmidt, Michael Jack Schmidt steps in with one down. And he gets a 6-10. A Wait a minute. No, yes, yeah, okay, so 6-10, and, uh, yeah, against Honeycutt is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the American League is, uh, is a 2E28, and uh, that is uh, going to be DeSense. He is a 2E28, probably an out. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it's probably an out, and it is, and it is a uh, double play. Well, it's not a double play. It's just a ground ball because there was nobody on. So he goes out 5-3, to three, and George Hendrick is now the batter. And he gets a 6-8. He is a righty. 
Um, and that is going to be a line out to second base. So the National League, after getting one run in the uh, first inning and jumping out quickly on the leadoff home run that they had, gets nothing in the second. We go to the bottom of the second inning. And Eddie Murray, he gets a 411. And he will be batting right. And that is a fly ball to the left fielder X. I hate all these X charts because it requires you to go look this stuff up instead of just giving me clean outs. But anyway, the left fielder is, uh, for the National League, is a 2E4. That is a 14. I mean, it bogs down the video, you know. But anyway, that's a 14, and that's going to be a fly ball C. So uh, he goes, he flies out to seven. Winfield is up. X chart coming. Six three. Six three. Uh, um, he is a righty, and no, it, it doesn't appear as though it will be. It's going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out five to three. There is two down, and that brings Ted Simmons up, recent Hall of Fame uh, inductee, and he is going to get a single. So um, Simmons gets the first hit for the American League, and Yaz is up. And Yaz gets a 210, and that is going to be a walk. So now here's that rally that the, uh, that the American League actually had, maybe, we'll see, against uh, Atley Hammaker. And Ripken is Ripken Jr., the shortstop, steps in. He's got a 6-4, and that is going to be what a shocker. It's going to be a ground ball shortstop. And the National League shortstop is the wizard, Wizzy, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> One E23 is what he is. That's an 11. That'll probably be on his, um, on his E rating. And it will be. So he's uh, an E23. That is a 6. So let me see. Six is going to be an E1. The wizard. The wizard makes an error. So E6 moves everybody up one base, and now you've got the bases are loaded for Doug DeCince, the third baseman starting today for the American League. And he gets a 6 8 batting right, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. So the American League comes close to getting a run, but they don't actually get a run. And uh, there are none across for the American League, therefore. And it is 1-0 still. We go to the top of the third inning. 1-0, 1983 National League over the 1983 American League. And here is the Wizard of Oz who made that error that um, what could have been a key error but didn't turn out to be last inning, last half inning. And he gets a 4-9, and he will be batting uh, right, and that's going to be a single. So the Wizard gets a board. Honeycutt gives up his second hit. And Johnny Bench is up. He gets a 6-7, and that's going to be a ground ball second base X. What a shock. Um, he is a 2E28, and that is Whitaker. That is a 17. 17 and 2 at second base is going to be a double play. So that erases, that makes two outs as we go. It's a 4-6-3 uh, a double play. Two down. And back to, the top, uh, back to the top of the lineup, yes, with Tim Raines. And he gets a 1-6, and uh, that's going to be a walk. 
Timmy Raines getting aboard with a walk. Now, he is a good base stealer. He is a double A base stealer. They will try to steal him. We'll figure out if it might be an out later, but it's a seven, so it isn't an out. He does steal second base. Because there's nobody in the universe that throws a double A out on a seven. So Steve Sachs is up, and he gets a 6-3. And 6-3 um, is going to be a strikeout. So... He gets the K, and uh, no more, I don't think that is, yeah, and no more runs come across for the National League. In the third, we go to the bottom of the third inning with the National League leading here over the American League of 1983, one nothing, And we're back to the top of the lineup for the 1983 American League team with Ricky Henderson. And he gets a 6-3, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5-3. Uh, Lou Whitaker is up, one down. And he gets a 6-8, and that is going to be a ground ball first base B. So ground out three, we'll call it. And Freddie Lynn. Gets a 5-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So, Hamaker gets them really quickly right there, the American League, and we go to the top of the fourth inning. In a one nothing game still, with Andre the Hawk Dawson. 6-5, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X. What a shock. Color me shocked. Um, shortstop is, for the American League, a 2E25. That is a 9. So it will be on his card. It's Ripken. That is a 9 on a 25. And that is going to be a ground ball A. So he goes out 6-3. to three. Six to three, that was Dawson, yep. And that brings up Mighty Dale, Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves with one down. And he gets a three six. And that is going to be a single, single double asterisk. Or wait, okay, I thought there was a guy on, but there isn't. So it's just a single. And uh, Honeycutt giving up his third hit. And Pedro, Pedro Guerrero is up. He gets 2-4, batting against the lefty. And that is um, going to be a ground ball shortstop A. So that is going to be a double play. And uh, that's going to be a 6-4-3. And they're out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, you got Eddie Murray. The lineup, the fourth inning for the American League will be Eddie Murray, Dave Winfield, and Ted Simmons. And that is going to be a 6-8. He is batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball to center, one away. Dave Winfield is the batter with one down. He gets a 1-5, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. And Ted Simmons is up to catcher. 5-7, he is batting right. And that is going to be a strikeout. And Ham Hamaker with, a strike, with his fourth strikeout of the game, and he is cruising. So... I don't know that the National League would be bringing in any of their relievers anytime soon. Michael Jack Schmidt is the batter for the National League as we uh, proceed to the top of the fifth. And he gets a 6-9. And that is going to be a fly ball right field. 
So Mike Schmidt gets a, an F9. Hendrick is up with one down. And he gets a 3-4, which is going to be a strikeout. Honeycutt with the K. That's his second strikeout of the game. And Ozzy Smith, the wizard, comes in, and he gets a 6-9. He is going to be batting right. And that is a fly ball to right field. No... Uh, runs come across from the National League, and it's still one nothing after four and a half innings. It's one nothing National League with the American League coming up right now in the bottom of the fifth with uh, Yaz being the batter. And he gets a 2-7, which is going to be a fly ball to right. So he gets an F9, there's one down quickly, and Ripken, Cal Ripken Jr. is up. He gets a 5-4, um, and that is going to be a, that's going to be a ballpark, possible ballpark single, and it is. So Cal Ripken works his way on with a single. Amaker giving up his second hit, only his second hit here in the fifth inning. Stark contrast to his real start in this All-Star game. Um, Doug DeCincy comes up, he gets 4-9. And that is going to be a single, single to center field. Ripken will go to second. Uh, and Ricky Henderson is up with one down. And runners at first and second for the American League. And he gets a 6-10. And that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. That is Mike Schmidt. And he is a 1-E21. That is a 12. And so that will be on his card. On his uh, E rating. 4 on a 21 is... Going to be an E1, Mike Schmidt. So two sure-handed National League uh, fielders have made errors in this game. We'll see if that um, becomes a, uh, a key error. That's an E5. And yes, there's only one out. So there's the bases now are loaded. And Lou Whitaker is the batter. And he gets a 1-4 against the lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball, shortstop B. They didn't have the infield in, so the run will score, but there's two out. Ground ball, shortstop, yeah. So that's going to be a fielder's choice, but a run scores and ties the game, and we have a 1-1 game going here. And Fred Lynn is the batter, and he gets a 1-3 which against the lefty is going to be a walk and load the bases. So Hamaker gives up an earned run and he, uh, and he has walked a guy. And so now the bases are loaded again in a tie game with two outs and, the, and uh, Eddie Murray up. And he gets a 6-8 and he's batting right. And that is going to be a fly ball center field. So he gets an F8, but the American League ties the game. We go to the top of the sixth inning. And um, let's see. Is the American League going to make a change here from Honeycutt? I don't think so. They're going to let Honeycutt pitch the sixth. Johnny Bench is the leadoff batter. He gets a 4-6. That was a, for one thing, it was, uh, well, it was righty on lefty, but um, that is going to be a fly ball left field. So, Bench gets an F7. Oh, let's put it in the other column. F7 to lead off the sixth. Tim Raines to lead off better for their lineup. And gets a 1 5, and that is going to be a walk. 
So Reigns is aboard with a walk. You know he's going to try to steal. Double A. Ten. Again, nobody's going to throw that out. So <laughs> with that kind of a rating. So he does steal second base. And that is his st second stolen base of the game. Steve Sachs is up. He gets a 2-9 against the lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. One, they're two away. And Andre the Hawk Dawson stepping in and getting a 3-7 um, against a lefty, and that's going to be a pop-out to short. So the National League, despite getting a little bit of a threat with a man at second base and uh, only one out, still comes away with no runs. We go to the bottom of the sixth. And uh, they are going to, the National League is going to take Hamaker out. So the final book on Hamaker is that he pitches five, he allows two hits and an earned run. I believe that run was earned, right? Uh... Yes. So they will go to the bullpen and get someone else to pitch from for at least another couple of innings or so. They're going to bring in um, Pascual Perez. Now, he was just a starter, but this is an all-star game, so it's like a quasi-all-star game format, so we will let Pascual Perez come in and relieve Atley Hamaker. And Dave Winfield will be the, the batter for the American League. And he gets a 1-3 uh, against a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. So Winfield, ground out three. Ted Simmons is up. They're going to pinch hit for Ted Simmons, and they will bring in his replacement to pinch hit for him. And that is going to be Lance Parrish. So Lance Parrish is going to pinch hit for Ted Simmons. Simmons played through five. Well, really through six, but it batted through five. And uh, that brings Lance Parrish up, and he gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. Which brings up Karl Yastramski, the DH. And he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a center fly ball center field. And no runs come in for the American League. We go to the top of the seventh inning, and now they will replace Honeycutt. Honeycutt goes six. Same rules apply. I won't necessarily rule out bringing in a starter. But they aren't going to do that. They're going to bring in Senior Smoke, Aurelio Lopez. Of, I believe, the Detroit Tigers um, at the time. And he will be facing Mighty Dale to lead off here in the seventh inning, the National League seventh, in a 1-1 game. And he gets a 4-9, and that is going to be a, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's going to be a fly ball. Yep, fly ball to left field. Pedro Guerrero is the batter, the DH. 4-5, he is a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. 
Lopez with a K. That's his first of the game, obviously. He just got into the game. And Mike Schmidt is the batter. He gets a 4-7, and that is a strikeout. So Lopez comes in, senior smoke, throwing the smoke, comes in and he strikes out two guys. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Pasquale Perez is still going to stay out there. He had a good inning last inning, and he is generally a starter, so he can go, you would think, at least three if he has to. Cal Ripken leads off against him and gets a 3-7, and that is a single. So Cal Ripken, I believe, with his second base hit yep he's the one he's the one that uh, got the leadoff hit last inning or two innings ago and scored Doug DeSensei is up he gets a 1-4 and that's going to be a ground ball to the third base A and that's going to be a double play so that's a 5-4-3 and I had the wrong marker out there anyway Ricky Henderson it's a 5-9, and uh, that is going to be a home run, Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson takes Pasquale Perez deep to give the American League a 2-1 uh, to one lead. That's the first hit allowed. And the first earned run allowed by Pasquale Perez. And Lou Whitaker is up. And he gets a 6-6. And that's going to be a fly ball to left field. So he gets an F7. But the American League scores a run. We go to the top of the 8th with the National League batting. And Aurelio Lopez will only pitch the one inning. Because he was mainly a one-inning pitcher. And the American League will bring in Tippy Martinez to pitch this inning. And the leadoff hitter is going to be George Hendrick, except it won't. They're going to pinch hit for Hendrick. And they are probably going to bring his replacement in as well. And that will be Leon Durham. So Leon Durham is going to pinch hit for George Hendrick. And uh, this is in the eighth, so he went through seven. Leon Durham gets a 3-6, and that's against a lefty, and that's going to be a walk. Yep. So Leon Durham, pinch hitting for Hendrick, gets a walk. Hendrick struck out and lined out in his brief appearances here. No outs, Ozzie Smith up. He gets a 4-6. He is batting right, and that's going to be a fly ball to right. With one down, Johnny Bench is the batter, but they're going to pinch hit for Johnny Bench, and uh, they'll probably bring in his replacement to pinch hit for him. And that's going to be Terry Kennedy. So Terry Kennedy is pinch hitting for Johnny Bench. And he gets a 1-6 against the lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. And that is two down. First strikeout for Tippy Martinez. 
and Tim Raines up. And he gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a ground. Wait a minute. Nope, it's going to be a strikeout. Oh, wait a minute. He's batting. Yeah. Okay. Yep, strikeout. And Tippy Martinez strikes out his second guy. And the National League got no runs there. They're only going to have one more chance to get at least one run, maybe more. Fred Lynn is up. Pasquale Perez is out. National League will bring in a new uh, pitcher in relief of Perez. And that's going to be Jesse Orozco. I think Jesse Orozco pitched in the previous game that this team played, but here he is again. And I don't think he pitched all that well, but we will see. Yeah. So Fred Lynn is going to be the first batter he'll face. He gets a 6-8. Um, and that is going to be a ground ball first base. So he goes out, ground out three. I'm happy to see that lately now here, there hasn't been as many X's. That is a one, two for Eddie Murray. And that's going to be a, uh, line out to third base. Line out five. And Dave Winfield is the batter. And he gets 3-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He goes 1-3, and this is the National League's last chance right here. Uh, top of the ninth. And I don't know if they're going to replace Tippy Martinez. They might just do that. They are going to do that. They're going to bring in Bob Stanley. Now, if you're, again, if you're a Red Sox fan, you're thinking, no, don't bring in Bob Stanley. But he actually pitched, he did pitch in one of the previous games, and he pitched great. I think he even went uh, multiple innings. So, um, he's going to be out there. The lineup he's going to face is Sachs, Dawson, and Murphy, assuming that there are no pinch hitters in that group for any of those guys, but there will be for Sacks. So Sacks actually is not going to hit. And um, they're going to they're going to pinch hit Bill Madlock. He won't necessarily be the replacement because he doesn't play second base, but he is going to pinch hit for um, for Sacks. Uh, he in 1983, hit 323 with 12 home runs and a 386 on base percentage. So he'll be the first batter that Stanley faces. He gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. So Madlock gets uh, the uh, F7. That brings up Dawson. They will let Dawson hit. He gets a 2-7, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. So two fly balls start the inning off for the National League in an inning in which they have to have a run. And Dale Murphy, Mighty Dale, gets a 6-10. And that is going to be a ground ball to third base, and that is how the game ends. And we had a real, uh, we had a real close one here with the National League being beat by the score of 2-1 to one by the American League. And if I had to name an MVP for this one, I would probably give it to Ricky Henderson, who hit the go-ahead home run for the American League and, uh, and gave them the win. So that's the final here from Comiskey Park of a 1983 with the uh, American League squeaking one out by the score of 2 to 1 against the National League